Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Sunday, December 22nd, 2019, and it took me a while before I could find a place where I could go fishing today. Mainly because all the local ponds around me are frozen. In retrospect, I probably should not have been so surprised by that. We have had a few days in a row of freezing temperatures. Today is uh, actually the first time in a while where temps are above freezing. It's in the mid 40s today. Uh, water temps are extremely cold though. I'd say this water is probably no more than 34, 35 degrees. So my expectations are not very high, but hey, when you got a day where you can go fishing, you gotta go fishing. I'm gonna start by throwing around this little grub on a jig head just to see if by any chance there might be some active fish around. Um, but I might transition to bait later on in the day. So here we go. Just trying to make anything happen at this point. Well guys, made several casts with the grub and absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna switch over to one of my most productive winter tactics which is the one inch gulp minnow on a 164th ounce jig head underneath the float. We'll see if anything wants to come up and say hi to this. Ooh, I think I just had something pull on it. Let's see if I'll come back for it. That definitely looked like that bobber shot under for a second. There he is. Fish on. That's a little pit roll. That didn't take long on that gulp minnow. It was in there maybe, maybe two minutes before he came and got it. All right, there we go. Well, oh, he's wriggled free, and off he goes. Uh, considering my low expectations coming into this, I am absolutely satisfied with that. Santa! Santa Claus! Oh, there's a fish. That bobber just started moving. That's oh, another pickerel. Oh, he's got a way down in there. I hope he doesn't fight me off. Come on up. Come on up. Yeah! Alright! Oh! He got me! Brought my finger a little too close to those teeth! Oops! Hang on, buddy! Hang on, hang on, hang on! All right, there we go. Hook is out. I'm bleeding like crazy. Fish got his revenge. But you know what? I'm still going to let him go. There you go, buddy. Heart of a warrior. Well, guys, I just had to root around through my first aid kit and patch myself up because... 
damn, that blood was just not stopping. It was just dripping out of my finger. So I got myself all taken care of. Looks like the bleeding is under control, but I mean, look, look at this. Look behind my car here. It looks like a damn crime scene. Look at all these blood spots. Look, we got over there. We got some over here. I mean, and that was just like a couple of minutes. You know, look at my look at my towel here. Look at that. And that was that was from one little pickerel getting one tooth in me. So I think I've said it before, but definitely gonna repeat it. Always a good idea when you're outdoors to bring along a first aid kit. Well guys, nothing else turned up on those gulp minnows, so I made another change. Switched over to a little red worm on a hook with a small split shot on top of it. And I'm gonna bounce this on the bottom and see if that won't get bit. I kind of saved this one for last because I know I'm probably gonna wind up losing more than a few rigs. I mean, you can kind of see, just looking around here, all the big boulders and chunk rock that are down there. I imagine it's gonna just devour hooks but hopefully a fish will get them before the rocks do. And there we go, first snag of the day. Ah. Got my rig back, but lost the worm. All right, guys, well, I put the float back on. I'm thinking maybe that'll help minimize hang-ups. I'm just hoping fish will still bite it, even if it's not on the bottom. I know in this really cold water, those fish will hug the bottom. But who knows, maybe a juicy worm going over their head will be just what they need to get them kicked into gear. Oh, oh, something's playing with it. There we go, fish on. Oh, <laughs> pulled him out of the water. Look at that. That is, that's a pumpkin seed sunfish right there. Beautiful little fish. Let him chew on it for a little bit, and he got just enough of that hook in his mouth. All right, oh, and there he goes. I think he's got it, yep. What do we got? Oh, look at that, it's another pickerel. This is the smallest one yet, look at him. I didn't even get him in the mouth. I hooked him in the gill plate. Wow, buddy, that's that's unfortunate for you. You didn't even eat it, and I still hooked you. Little tiny guy, look at him. That's aquarium size right there. But, that's pickle number three on the day. All right, back he goes. Oh, that was another one that bit. And he stole my worm. Got really, really light bites. They're barely moving that bobber. Oh, something's got it. I'm gonna let him eat. Pulling that bobber around a little bit. Is he still on? Yep, he's on. What do we got here? Ah! It's another pumpkin seed. Get that hook way down there though. Let's see, would I be able to get that out? No. Nah, he's got it way down in there. Alright, well, it's a size 8 hook, so it's relatively small. I'm just gonna clip the line 
and wish him Godspeed. He might make it, he might not, but I'm going to give him a chance. I know he wouldn't make it if I tried to get that hook out. So, he's much better off now. Oh, something's got it. There we go. Another fish on. It's, oh, it's another pumpkin seed. It's amazing that it's just pumpkin seeds. Usually there's bluegill mixed in with them. But so far, three pumpkin seed and zero bluegill. Well, he's going back. Well, guys, it's starting to get dark and cold, so time for me to wrap it up. So, I came out to this spot today essentially because it was the only one I was able to fish, given that all the ponds were frozen over. And given the conditions, we had extremely cold water, and given that this is a spot where I historically haven't done fantastically well, I just went in with very lowered expectations. Essentially, my goal was to catch one fish. You know, just to do one positive thing and not go home with the skunk. And I wound up catching six. I mean, they were all pretty small fish, but the, my expectations for the day were exceeded. So, you know, going in with those lowered expectations actually helped me feel better about the day. You know, sometimes you go into a day and, you know, whether it's where you're fishing or what time of year or the conditions, you expect to do well. You know, you reasonably expect to catch a whole bunch of fish. And today, I expected to struggle. And while I didn't do fantastic, I, I didn't do too bad either, so I'm going to go home today thinking that today was uh, a, a fantastic day of fishing, you know, by the standards that I set for myself going in. I could have done without, you know, almost losing a finger to a pickerel, but other than that, I'd say that today was definitely a rousing success. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a very joyous holiday season, no matter what you celebrate. And I will see you on the next adventure.